Hey everyone, we have a brand new makeover coming at you. Yes, an IRL makeover start to finish. But I wanted to let you know that this was filmed way, way before quarantine was even a thing on anyone's radar. Before we get started, I wanted to let you know that Make My Space Work is brought to you by Shopify, the complete commerce platform to start, grow, and manage a business. One of the advantages of starting your own business is that you can start it from anywhere. Just like sisters Jesse and Dakota did, you'll meet them very soon in this episode. They started a global jewelry business from their hometown and Shopify has tons of resources to help you do the same. Check the description box for a step-by-step -step guide on how to start your business on Shopify. Hey guys, I'm Alexandra, a decor expert. Welcome to my series, Make My Space Work, where I am helping entrepreneurs make over their diverse workspaces. These are people who are building their businesses from the ground up. The last thing on their to-do list is to decorate their office. Today I'm helping twin sisters, Dakota and Jesse, who own Sapling and Flint. They hand make beautiful jewelry inspired by their Mohawk heritage. Make sure you guys hit that subscribe button down below. We have tons more makeovers coming your way that you don't want to miss. My name is Dakota Brandt and along with my twin sister, we are the owners of Sapling & Flint. We are a First Nations owned jewelry brand that is both online and we have a retail location here in our home community of Six Nations of the Grand River. Jesse is a college drained goldsmith and jeweler and I'm a master regalia maker in the art of Haudenosaunee beadwork. When we initially wanted to start our business, it was a bit of a challenge for us to even begin that because retail locations can be very rare. A business can be here for 20 years before a retail space becomes available. But it was really important to us that we started our business here. Our family's here, we wanna raise our children here. So the second that we saw this location come up, we scooped it up and really just got started on our entrepreneurial journey. So our business is a production business. It's very multifunctional from creating the product to doing the marketing and the shipping of the product to the customer. So if we can make our office space work for us in a seamless manner, that's gonna be really transformational for the operation of our business. So please help me make my space work. <laughs> When I met Dakota, I was so inspired by all the plans she has for the business. As a small business owner, I too am always thinking 10 steps ahead. The space right now is kind of divided into two. On one side, it's covered wall to wall with this beautiful organized workspace. But then on the other side, tool storage, a workbench, a shipping area, a photo studio, and then there's this tiny little desk in the corner that Dakota really wishes was an area for her to sew at. And as I was planning this makeover, I realized that it might not be filled with you know, as much beautiful decor as you guys are used to seeing, but I do think there's gonna be some practical tips for you guys at home to organize those spaces that have just gone out of control. Wish me luck and let's get started. It is prep day. So because this is such a small space, like this is literally the room, the first thing I'm gonna do is take everything out of it. So Dakota is here with me today. She's gonna give away anything she doesn't wanna keep anymore. This is such an important step if you're making over a small space because stuff accumulates over time. And I feel like once you have everything out of a space, you can reconfigure the layout. Okay, so next I'm gonna take these shelves down, which might seem weird because this room really needs a lot of storage and this is functioning storage, but I do have a plan, so bear with me. Dakota and Jesse take photos all the time for social media, for their website, when new product comes in. So I'm taking down these shelves and adding in a little mini photo studio. A tip I have for you guys is to really figure out what your room needs to do for you. Okay guys, the room is empty. Oh, so empty, so many possibilities. Now it's time to fill the holes from these shelves on the wall in preparation to paint this whole space white. Since Dakota and Jesse use this primarily as a photo studio, I wanted to keep the walls neutral, freshen them up a bit, and give them a very bright background for all their photos. So we're just gonna give it a fresh coat of white paint. I say we, but Chico is gonna be painting this room. <laughs> but I'm gonna be building some furniture, some storage cabinets that are, that are gonna go in here. The dining table by the window is really small. It's very old. It has absolutely zero storage. It's just not working and I need to find a better solution. Okay, I also wanna give you guys like a brief glance at the behind the scenes chaos. <laughs> 
Just like furniture everywhere. It's getting dark outside. <laughs> the walls are all painted. That was a very long day. You guys only saw bits and pieces of it, but yeah, we're going to call it a day and tomorrow is the reveal. So it's day two, the walls are dry, the furniture is built, and now it's time to bring everything in. So the first thing I'm gonna bring in is this amazing desk slash sewing table. Because this is such a small space, I really needed to find a work table that did more than one thing. This is a sewing table. It has so much storage. So your thread goes up here, all of the fabrics go in those drawers, and there's even a spot for your sewing machine to be tucked away when you're not using it. This desk is also on casters, so that means Dakota can move it around if they're doing a photo shoot and they need a surface. So if you guys remember before, there wasn't a dedicated space for them to have like a clean surface to ship off of. So I got these four cabinets, stacked them on top of each other, and this is going to be where they ship everything. Before all of their shipping supplies were being stored on the open cabinets over here, it just looked messy. Even though it was organized, there was just kind of stuff everywhere. Closed storage in a small space like this is absolutely necessary. I'm not even gonna say it's an option, it is necessary. I want everything tucked away, and even if they don't keep it organized inside here, no one will know. So Dakota and Jesse had tons of cork boards and memo boards floating around this office. So I thought I just wanted to get them a giant one so that everything is all in one place. This can be their vision board, their reminder board. I'm going to be painting it yellow. Dakota had mentioned that she loves that color and it's really gonna add some life back here. If you're going to paint cork, you wanna make sure you're using a thin layer. You don't want it to sit on top of the cork, you want it to be absorbed. Or else whenever you hang something on the cork, paint's just gonna like fall everywhere. A big part of Dakota and Jesse's business is taking photographs of their product for social media and their online store. So good. And if you guys remember, they were actually using a blackout blind along this wall to take their photos. They also had a softbox that they were placing along the old table back there. And because this space is so small and because it was so cluttered, there just wasn't a designated spot for them to really do anything efficiently. I found this system online. It was actually really inexpensive and is such a great solution for anyone out there who wants to take their own professional photos at home. And there's two slots left so they can put the color of paper of their choice up there. I had to find a solution for all of the camera gear that Dakota and Jesse had stored on those open shelves that I took down. So what I've done is take a floating shelf and reinforced it with two brackets to make sure it's super sturdy. And I'm just storing all of this camera gear up top store things on the wall. It's okay to hang your shelf a little bit higher if it's stuff you don't need to get at every single day. And that way you have wall space for decor like photos or this cork board. So I'm just folding all of Dakota's fabrics and putting them in each of these drawers. And then I'm gonna have a separate area just for her beading stuff. Things that are loose like this work great in storage boxes. I'm labeling them as well so Dakota knows exactly where everything is. I'm hanging a couple of these patterns that Dakota had hanging up on the wall. I thought that this would make really cool art. It's like very alternative, it's different, and it's still functional. Now it is time for the finishing touches. I'm taking this lamp that was previously clamped to the dining table. I'm hanging it up on the wall to save desk space. I'm adding a couple plants. I'm putting that sewing mannequin on display. It looks really cool, but it's also gonna be useful. I'm also hanging up Dakota's beautiful beadwork. I hope that these pieces inspire her to keep going with her sewing and her beading whenever she walks into this room. It's time to reveal the space to Dakota. Jessie is away right now, so it's just her. I'm actually feeling really nervous for this reveal. When you need your space to do six different things and work really hard for you, it limits the amount of decor, the amount of kind of like wow factor. I really hope that she likes it, but also notices the way I brought in organization and function to this space. Let's bring her in. Okay, close your eyes, and then grab my hand, and I'm gonna lead you in. So, before you open your eyes, okay. I want you to picture what your space looked like before. Mm -hmm. Kind of chaotic. Yeah. No real kind of space for all the things you need to do back here. A lot of moving around all the time. Yes. One, <laughs> two, three. <laughs> <laughs> 
It's so clean. <laughs> it's so clean in here. Do you like it? Yeah. Look at that. It's a mini photo <laughs> studio. <laughs> so in here is all of your shipping supplies. And then I thought you could ship all of your packages on the top of those cabinets. Yeah. And then this is incredible. This is a brand new sewing table. It has so much storage, so all your fabric is in there. Your sewing machine can actually fit in that drawer. So it, can, it doesn't have to stay on the table. Exactly. <laughs> the biggest difference is, to me, there's just more square footage on the floor here. Yeah. Just being able to maneuver because there's two of us in here all the time. Yeah. Pull it up. Yeah. Right on. There's a white one in the back, too. Oh, that's where I'm standing right now. And, yeah. then, and then over here, where the mess used to be, there's a new bulletin board here. That's that awesome. The photo studio was a hit, and I really feel like it's going to help their workflow run that much more smoothly. And let me know in the comments down below, what would you need in your workspace to be able to work with a family member? And if your office space is in need of a refresh, our contact details are down below in the description box. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you next time. Are you subscribed? She's subscribed. Are you guys subscribed? <laughs> okay, one out of three, very, Lottie, they're not subscribed. Are you guys subscribed?